Business Lexington is made possible with the support of Cornet IMS. 25 years of providing integrated marketing solutions to Kentucky's top businesses and organizations. Cornet-IMS.com Cities, large, medium, and small all across the nation are recognizing that the industrial park of the 21st century is a lively urban core and inviting downtown that accommodates professional talents as well as retiring baby boomers, all looking to live within walking distance of jobs, shopping, entertainment, and recreation. Until now, developers in Lexington, as in many other cities around Kentucky, have not been able to take advantage of public financing in building construction. But as Eric Carlson has discovered, local developers planning to redevelop one of Lexington's central blocks are learning that the use of tax increment financing, or the TIF, to curb costs comes at a price. House Bill 549, passed by the 2007 General Assembly, made it possible for developers to reclaim land that had become run down and blighted in return for new tax money generated by the site to pay for certain costs associated with its redevelopment. With tax increment financing, or TIFs as they're called on the books, it has allowed developers to dream big, such as the web companies did in March when it announced plans for Center Point, a 40-story tower with a four-star hotel and more than 70 condos to be placed in the center of Lexington. This development was explained at a recent City Hall press conference. The reason a lot of people are going to be excited is because of the impact that this project will have on Lexington's skyline and I'm certainly excited about that too but I'm even more excited about the kind of impact it's going to have at the street level. Oh, I think it'll mean tr a tremendous amount of new jobs, new tax bases. This will be a great project for this community. It shows that you can do a project that doesn't require the urban service boundary to expand and it, so it shows that it has the capability of doing um, some urban development that will help the city in many ways. It's always more expensive to deal with redoing existing infrastructure and replacing it and so forth. It's always easier to deal in a, in a bare field, but without the TIF tool, it, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to do. Since CenterPoint's renderings were released, public concern has grown over the scale of the project in relation to downtown and what effects it might have on the entertainment businesses currently operating on the block. The web's plan to have CenterPoint as Lexington's first TIF project require the public concern be addressed before their building can scrape the sky. No, I, I think if the public doesn't want it, obviously it won't be built then. The dame, there are always places for it to go and we'll cooperate with them to try to help them. Harold Tate has agreed to, to help them. It would make a lot more sense if you build on what is working rather than tearing it down and hoping that you can recreate it again someplace else. We don't have places to go and to do things. We don't have entertainment district. We don't have that sort of thing. The only thing we've had has been in the block that we're talking about here. I really hope that we will step up and recognize that we got to address this other piece of it. If you're living 40 stories in the tower, you want to come down to the street and have something to do. Not a downtown that's dead, but a downtown that's alive and spirited and inviting. Let's really be smart about what we leave to future generations. This project is a landmark project right in the center of our downtown. We need to take our time I want to be sure, and there are a lot of people in the city, want to be sure that it's right. What we do have is something that is more than just a pile of bricks that needs to be torn down. It's got a wonderful history associated with it, and it actually is being utilized right now by uh, a lot of the people that we really want to keep around. I'd like to see the dame and that whole area remain, and the development that occurs, I would also like to see it agree with the downtown master plan. As you've just seen, the proposed development has brought out a wide divergence of opinion. A groundswell of opposition to this project has formed through a media campaign by Preserve Lexington, a 1,500-member group on the popular social networking site Facebook, and others who would like to see the block remain untouched or at least developed in some other way. The Centerpoint project will have to go before Urban County Council and the State TIF Commission for approval to take advantage of the TIF, which developer Dudley Webb said should pay for 70 to 90 million dollars of the 250 million dollar project. Reporting for Business Lexington, I'm Eric Carlson.